Hey everyone, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to be your general love reading for May 6th. Okay, I know it's been um, a little bit before or since I've come to you with a, one of these. It is what it is. And here we are. If you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. All readings are done by donation. All right, all the information that you need is there. I put it there for a reason. Please read it. It's basically step by step. All right, it's general and it's not going to resonate with everyone. Let me repeat that. It's general and it's not going to resonate with everyone. All right, it's not sign specific. We will do a little something at the end and see what comes out for maybe some specific signs, but overall, um, this is just a message that if it applies to you, it applies to you. Okay, first card shooting out unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we're off to a banging start. <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. That's, that's what's going on right now for a lot of us, okay? Just let that shit go. There's something better coming for you, okay? Don't hold yourself up on shit that... Deception. If you watch the real message, when I tell you you're being surrounded by manipulation and deception, <clears throat> I mean, you ain't got to listen to me. Shit. I'm just passing through. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yeah. All right. There's not enough magnetic... Look, look man. What, what they're showing me... They're showing me worms, maggots, and these, like, I don't know what this creature is. <clears throat> but it's like weevil. Maybe it's a weevil? I don't know. It's like burrowing and weevilling itself in what I thought was dirt. And I'm, like, looking harder. No, no. That's rotted flesh. They're really trying to work their way in. And the thing about this is I think you see. I think you can see who's deceiving you. I think you can see the deception. I think you want to believe. I think for I think of dealing with somebody who is in love with the idea of being in love. You're probably someone who who wants to be in a relationship or likes the idea of, of having a partner. But I mean, how much more truth can they fucking show you? Not only that, but you're seeing how they're treating others. And I, okay, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay, this could be addictions from you know, as I say all the time, addictions are not just drugs, okay? Addictions are not just drugs. You're getting um, healing coming out, all right? So this is a time for healing, and maybe perhaps there's a message in all of this, okay? Maybe the message in all of this is to bring something from the past so that you're able to completely heal from it, okay? Not uncommon, not unheard of, all right? But codependency can also be, look at this, chance coming in the reverse position. I do not read these cards in reverse, so it's very odd that some of them are coming in reverse, or one of them, uh, out, of, out of the reading. Okay, right now is not the time to take a chance. Um, some of you have some really, really serious things going on, and you need to stay focused. Okay, stay focused on what you're doing. Stay focused on the task at hand. Some of you, like, this is going to make it make you or break you. Okay, some of you have serious, serious legal Fucking legal shit has been coming out in a lot of readings. So if that is the case, um, pay attention to the ones that are around you deceiving you, okay? Because you don't ignore what you're seeing, all right? Codependency can also be someone who uses another person to um, validate the way that they are feeling, okay? So, but it could also just be someone who needs someone to feel um, like they are something, you know, like need, like I'm, I'm nothing without, if, if I don't have a, a romantic partner or a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or whatever, you know? Um, but also there are, are literal addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, sex addictions, food addictions, uh, work addictions. Yeah, man, I'm just going to tell you, I'm getting drugs heavy, heavy, strong, strong. Have been. And that'll come out in a reading. I have no doubt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to say it because I don't want to offend anyone, but 
Page of Swords. Page of, Page of Swords, right? This is the sneaky little stalker. Oh, you got someone looking at you, honey. Oh, you got someone, or you, or them, right? This is general. So this could be picking up on your energy, the person who's watching this, or the other person's energy, the person that you're dealing with, okay? But most of the people are not going to admit that they are the ones that's being deceptive, or they are the one that has the addiction, or, you know, that, that the other person is not a match for them, right? They deserve better, or you deserve better, or maybe it's not even better. Maybe it's just something else, right? But the Page of Swords is keeping tabs, honey. This is someone... And you know what? Yes, it could be. It could be online. It could be, and it probably is. It probably is in a, in a multitude of ways that they're keeping tabs. <clears throat> but what they're showing me, they're showing me someone tied down to a, a, a home. Like they're tied down to a chair in the middle of what looks like a living room. Um, what the feeling that I'm getting for that is someone is, I, I don't think someone's actually fucking held captive. Like, no, but, but that's what they're showing me, I think, to drive home the, the feeling that uh, there is someone here that is being held particularly close in a manipulative and deceptive way so that they're able to keep tabs on you. So be careful of the ones that are paying your bills or paying for your phone or you know things like this because that's kind of the that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting like there's some there's something happening where they're able to keep tabs on you like they're doing something in a deceptive way that looks like hey I'm just being nice because I'm a nice motherfucking person They're keeping tabs on you, baby. Or you them. It's only going to be for a number of you, okay? For others of you. Could just be a message waiting to come in, okay? It's spying. Good. Okay, nine of coins. What I say? This is somebody that somehow is directed to or or directly um related or it, they've got they've got they've got your your money somehow this could even be a manipulative boss right now usually when i deal with manipulative bosses the emperor the empress comes out in the reverse position especially the emperor in the reverse um that's not come out here yet but i'm telling you there's something and as the that actually falls over the deception card okay and the page of swords falls over the unrequited love and I think that's why they're keeping so you know so close of tabs on you I think they know that and you may be even trying to date and they don't like that it may not even be something serious right but I'm telling you they've got something with your money honey they've got something going on with your money I'm telling you don't you be real careful of those gifts you accept And they don't, and it's almost like they don't want you to because the nine of coins has to do with, um, look at the seven of swords comes out to clarify the codependency and <clears throat> just fell out of the, shot out of the deck, kind of shot out, fell out, whatever, however you want to say that, which is the card of what deception, the thief in the night. Anyway, nine of coins has to do with being um, independent, self-sufficient, you know, not needing anyone, you know, making your own way, <clears throat> doing your own thing. And so I, I feel like they, like you, some of you may be wanting to go out on your own or starting to date other people or things like that. And as I'm explaining this to you, the eight of coins in the reverse position shoots out. They do not want it to happen. They do not want you to go. They do not want you in this nine of coins energy okay so they continue to deceive you i'm telling you, you better watch out for them gifts you better watch out for them gifts hell some of y'all may even have a spyware in your phone shit fuck around yeah <laughs> anyway <clears throat> wheel of fortune love it i love it i love it because all of this negative weird shit going on 
the wheel does turn. The wheel does turn. You can be anywhere you want to be on that wheel. All right. If you want to stay in this energy, your wheel will be upside down. All right. You'll be ran the fuck over by that wheel time and time again, caught in that vicious cycle. That's on you. That's on you. But if you want to recognize and realize what's going on and either put your foot down, if it is a boss, turn them into, I think that would be HR, uh, or, or fucking just find another job, right? If they are giving you gifts, don't accept, okay? If they, if they're, you know, over your living situation, whatever it is, if, if, even if none of that's happening, if they're just being deceptive, there's also someone that's going to, okay, so there's also someone that's going to find a message or a receipt, a receipt of some kind. So receipt could be e anything, right? It could be like an actual, you know, a receipt to a purchase or a receipt is proof of something, right? So you're going to find some type of receipt that your significant other <clears throat> has been buying for, buying for, paying for something for someone outside of the relationship. Oh, some of you already know. Some, look here, man. For some of you, now this is only for a select few of you. Some of you, you, you are into some weird things. Does someone like to watch their spouse fuck another person? I don't know. There's some weird shit going on here. That's for only some of you. Some of you already know. You are fully aware and this is you choosing to not work on anything new. You choosing to stay in it. Now, hey, if that's your bag, baby, that's your bag. But others of you have been beat down so much. <clears throat> I don't know. It's just weird. And then maybe <laughs> put down the pipe. Not the pipe, but the pipe. Somebody sucking on that glass dick, eh? <gasps> No matter what, the wheel turns. The wheel turns and the wheel is turning. Fortune is coming. Change is coming. Okay. Again, here's the, what I love about tarot is it's just guidance, right? It's just guidance either to warn or to lay out, right? So it can lay out a current situation and give you the possible outcomes or it can warn you of an upcoming situation and give you the possible outcomes. So if there's anything that you see that you don't like or you don't want or you don't agree with or whatever, whatever, Change the pattern, right? Go left instead of right. Choose Tuesday instead of Monday. Whatever it is, right? But I love that the Wheel of Fortune comes out to end off <clears throat> that line of cards. Okay, King of Wands. I fucking love it. I love it that it comes with this. I love it. Because the King of Wands, yes, it's a passionate sign. Yes, it could be a fire sign and all that other like shit, but that's not, I don't like to do that in these readings. Um, the King of Wands is a visionary. The King of Wands is an action card. The King of Wands is looking back at all of these other cards, right? Because it's laying right here and the, it's, the cards are laying right here and all the other cards are, are right here. So he's looking back when he's laid like this, right? He's looking at all these other cards and he's like, yeah, I peep that shit. I peep that shit. And he, more so than that, he's actually looking at the Seven of Swords, Okay, so not only is he peeping game on a whole nother level from a higher place, right? He's on the mountain looking down at all this shit. He's not down in the valley where he can't see. All right. He's looking at all of this shit. He's peeping, but he's looking at the seven of swords. Okay, so he's actually looking directly at the deception um, and the, the way that it's being um, strategically done. Right. So. This King of Wands is actually learning the patterns in which someone um, deceives. Does that make sense? Like they're actually learning the, the ins and outs of this person or these people's game. Up here just chilling like... Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just over here chilling on my mountain. <clears throat> but
but everyone's so busy. What they're showing me, like everyone's so busy down in the valley, scurrying and covering up and hiding and shit. And they're looking down and they're they're trying to pick up what they dropped and pick up. Yeah, they're trying to pick up them fucking words that done fell out that shouldn't have fell out, eh? Backtrack rebuttal. I'm getting a lot of. Anyway, they're so busy down there. They can't. They can't look up. They can't look up. They don't even see. Can't even see up there. The person that's like. I see you. I love it. I lo and I love that it comes with the Wheel of Fortune. The hanged man in the reverse position with the Empress overlaying all. So, you have with the King of Coins and the Ace of Swords. You damn straight. Look here. And the Six of Swords on that. Moving, look moving away from all of this shit overall in the end when everything has been made clear okay and everything is being made clear right now and things are coming out okay we will be solid in our foundation when we make our move you 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 or you whoever right and if this is if you're the one that's being manipulative and you're watching this video get your shit together you know what i mean get your shit together because it, it goes both ways they don't have to deal with your shit and they can change the outcome just like you don't have to do this anymore and you can change your outcome and you can change your personality. You know what I mean? Like, we all fuck up. You don't have to keep fucking up. And just because you fucked up doesn't make you a fuck up, right? There you go. So, but you do know and you will know by the end of this just how powerful you are and how abundant you are, right? And how great and how magnificent and just how much you really do control not just your own life, but the reality that you choose to engage in. Okay, not just the reality that you create, not just your own life, but the reality that you actually choose to engage in. And it is, it is a choice. Okay, with a hanged man coming like this, I would say don't make any rash decisions. Okay, um, it is coming in the reverse position. I would say take it all into consideration. Um, and perhaps for the way it's coming under, under there, some of you may have already made a decision. And that's very possible too. Um, you may have already made a decision, but I just wouldn't act on it just yet unless you're in danger. Unless someone's in danger, especially if you've heard me talk about the children, um, do, do what you got to do. And I suggest if you are dealing with children, um, do it yesterday. You feel me? Okay, something just fell on the floor uh, and it fell face down. So whatever it is, it's supposed to be face down. Choose your battles. Choose your battles and keep your game face on. Don't let them know you know. Although, I'm getting this real everybody knows vibe. Like, everybody knows and everybody knows that I know and I know that everybody knows, but we just ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> we just ain't gonna say shit. Simply love, all right, the six of water. Now it is coming in the reverse position. I'm telling you, there's there's some people from the past that are trying to weevil or weasel their way back in, what they're showing me. I mean, the reason that I thought it was dirt, this is kind of nasty, I don't even know. Yeah, fuck it. The reason I thought it was dirt is because the bugs have shit so much in the rotting flesh, right? So as they're eating it and they're, you know, weaveling and like there's there's just some thing that they're showing me that's like burrowing into the flesh Bur burrowing 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 I think is the word burrowing into the flesh um anyways these these scavengers right they wouldn't necessarily be parasites it would be, be scavengers I, whatever they're eating the flesh but they've like there's so many of them they're actually like eating it and shitting right eating it and shitting and laying eggs and that all of that black shit and eggs and muck that's why I thought it was dirt because there's so much of that in and on the flesh and it's so rotted and, and torn up from being eaten that it looks you know you know how dirt looks strengthening bonds I'm telling you someone is trying to come in from the past to strengthen bonds and backtrack and weasel their fucking way in peep that shit 
and then pick your battles. Man, you ain't got to say nothing right now. You ain't got to act right now. Embrace the world and everything that's being given to you. All right, throat chakra is in the reverse position for speaking your truth. Like I said, it's going to depend on your situation. Some of you need to speak up yesterday, and some of you need to just wait. Wait. And and not because, and I'm not telling you to like be, I'm not telling you to suppress or, or um, allow yourself to be oppressed. Um, I don't know. You'll know your situation, right? It's different for everyone, but there, Sagittarius just keeps popping out. Seven, but it's also it's Temperance is the card of as above, so below, right? And he, uh, healing um, and uh, moderation, right? It can also be a card um, that can show addiction or uh, recovering from addiction because it does mean temperance, pulling back and having moderation or giving something up and bringing things back into balance. So all of that heart chakra is coming out too in the reverse position, <laughs> overlooking the third eye chakra and moving on. Look, you ain't got to believe me. I'm just passing through. I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here with me, and I will see you next time.